Live. There we go. We are live. We are live. We are live. Hello, Harry D Dino. Started ringing me. Amazing. Um, I have something to confess. We have a building regulations man coming to inspect our extension. Okay. Hello, guys. And I think he just rang me. <laughs> oh, no. I said, please don't come between one o'clock and two because we're working. And I think he might be outside. If that's the case, Mrs. B yes. and the kids, yes. you are going to have to do this live stream while I show a building regulations guy our insulation. It <laughs> <laughs> um, doesn't matter. Hello, everybody. Hope you're well. Hello, Phoebe. Hello. Hello, Hello Chloe. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Barry. Hello. We are doing today the world's most easiest truffles. Do you want to um, I'll go. Um, I'm going to just have a little look here. Uh, we've got some super chats. Hello, everybody. It's on super chats. Hello, on normal chats. Cindy Wood, thank you for your super chat. Hello, love your videos. You always make me laugh. I've got a voicemail. My phone has just popped up that I've got a voicemail. Hello, Barry. I'm outside. Imagine that. Give me one minute, Mrs. B. Hey. I would like you to say hello to everyone. We're making chocolate truffles. Right. <laughs> do you know what we're doing? Right. Basically, I'm gonna take making... basically to that chocolate. Yeah, cream cheese, beat together the cream cheese till it's soft. Right. Really, really yeah. soft. Then you sieve okay. in the icing sugar, 340 grams of that. Then you add in the melted chocolate and the extract, do it slowly. Okay. okay. I didn't take any. Okay. Didn't you? Okay. Sorry, this is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just worried about being left on my own. Just wait. If you suddenly hear me go really serious for about 10 minutes, that's because I'm showing a very important man the okay. de detailed, intricate elements of our new kitchen. No. Sorry. <laughs> it does help me. If you want to change the chat as well at the moment, I've just done it on super chat. Or if you want to change it to uh, stop chat, yeah, live I chat, don't think I should touch live anything. chat like that. If you go live chat, you can see everyone. You can scroll up and talk okay. to people like that. See? And I don't then you think can I just go touch anything super chat. I'll end up stopping it. Or right. Can it. I put on I'll this? be back. Okay. Oh, yes, super good. Oh, okay. Look. Can you say Twi happy birthday to my daughter? Happy, happy birthday, birthday to Twilight. your daughter. From who's that? Twilight Draco's daughter. I'll be back. And hi, Cindy Wood. Thanks Should we the put this, chat. Right. the chat on? I think it is on. Right. Dad said the first thing we need to do is melt the chocolate. Okay. Let's go. So, uh, this one. This one. So, so we're going to need to bring chocolate. Chocolate. Don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I need to get the smaller the pieces are. They're quicker up than that. Yes. That's very true, Chloe. <laughs> we know that because we've done a lot of melting chocolate this week. Yes. <laughs> it works. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh, so how did Daddy say? Because there's no comments it's coming up now. Oh, that one? Because it's I think off. So. Only the pledges right. coming. Right. I can't see the camera things in the way. Is that, that one? one? Yes, it's yeah. on. Ah, okay. Hello from Switzerland. Um, oh, gosh. Someone asked for a shout out, but I can't see where they are. Um, hello. Oh, yes. Marky Mark, you have a shout out. Hello. hello. So it's your birthday yesterday. There, 50 mil, whatever. I knew that wasn't real. <laughs> I'm joking. Really it wasn't. That was just someone ringing me. Okay. Yeah. So how are we getting on? How are we doing, I everybody? Just change the comments because nothing was coming up. Nothing was coming up. I was sorry. Hey team. Hello from Birmingham. Hello everybody. Can I have a shout out, please? Oh. Ah, there's a shout out. Uh, hello everybody. Hello. Uh, we are doing some easy chocolate truffles. Uh, Thank you, Norman, for moderating. Uh, had a little look at our Discord server last night. Very exciting. 12 hours to go on the Kickstarter campaign. Amazing. Thank you to everyone that's back that. But if you're cooking along, this is what you've got to do. Melt up the chocolate. Break up the chocolate. How much? About 500? About 500 grams. Hello again from Adelaide, Australia. Hi, Jamie. You're here every day. Hi, mate. Good morning in Australia, isn't it? Or was it night? Wait. I can't remember. No, it's morning in America. It's evening. Good evening. Good evening. What are you doing, Phoebs? Did you break all that up already? Yeah. It's all done. <laughs> she does that. I don't know if you would notice on these live streams. It's just like... I think she's working out what time it is she's in Australia. She, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. truffly early here in Canada. Thank you uh, for the super chat, Francis Healy. Thank you. Uh, yes, it is. It is very early, isn't it? What, Phoebs, you got the bowl there? Melt your chocolate on 20-ish, 30-second blast on your microwave, which is what Phoebeetta is starting to do as we pan around. Yes. 30 second blast if you can't do that. Oh, Jamie. You have to do a super chat, mate, every time you want to talk to me, but it is 9.30 here. Wow. Uh, thank you for your super chat. Uh, 
30 second blast, 20 second blast, whatever. If you have not got a microwave like that, you can get a pan of simmering water. Make sure the water doesn't hit the chocolate, so um, all the bottom of the bowl. Melt it up, stir it around. Please buy Phoebe and Chloe an Easter egg from me, from Jackie Dorrington. Oh, wow, thank you, Jackie. Fine. Thank you for your super chat pledge and all that stuff. It's, I hope you're well. Um, it, actually, we did talk about this off camera, didn't we? I was like, Easter eggs for you and I? <laughs> you bought your own. You told me to. You said yeah, I'm did. not going in any supermarket. Yeah. So you're not going to get one unless you buy one yourself. Well, I actually went in a supermarket last night for the first time since this is really locked down. I've actually quite liked it. I felt like a robot. Do you know what I mean? I felt... Wait, civilized. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. It's like... Civilized. It's still ringing me. I it. I know. I just accidentally hung up. But I said don't come between one and two. And literally you they got to ring me. Can I come now? She keep ringing me over and over and over this number. Um, I might have to take it for like two minutes. I think that pauses the live. So if you see me go, and then I've got to put my ear to the phone with a <laughs> big clip on lens People on. You can't hear what you're saying then. So I, I wonder if you can. That would be amazing. We live stream a phone call about. Um, it might not even be him. Um, right, so here we go. Chocolate is being melted. We Happy Easter from Austria. Um, so I, yeah, I went into the supermarket and you were sort of doing this weird queuing system, you feel like robots. Yeah. But I did quite like it. I got told off because I actually went to a till randomly and this woman, oi! I was like, oh, get to the back. And you have to go to the far aisle. Yeah, and then they, section, they tell you where to go. Yeah, Although I was the other day, the other week, I did the self-scanning. Yeah, and you still use a self-scanning yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Much I love how like the adults, we're talking about like just junk oh, right, and the, the kids. kids are cooking on. So, yeah. it's you Okay, perfect. But do not put it in the microwave for too long, otherwise you will burn it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. You just um, do it like 30 seconds of time. You do? Look at you guys. Not like what we did the other day with the white chocolate, though. No. No. Not with the white it. chocolate. White chocolate is so temperamental. But you can use um, white chocolate, you can use dark chocolate, you can use flavoured chocolate. We're going to use orange extract Ooh. to flavour it. So we're going to actually have like chocolate orange truffles. But if you're feeling a little bit cheeky, uh, if you're of the uh, legal age, you could add a little bit of alcohol. Yeah. You could add Baileys. You could add gin. Gin? gin. <laughs> bit of gin? You could add, yeah. You could add cha champagne, darling. <laughs> champagne. We have, we have very expensive taste. Nice. Prosecco. Yes. Uh, what else do you have? Rum. Lemonade. Oh, I like rum. Lemonade. Lemonade. Yeah, you've got a lot. Sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, so, okay. oh, oh, there we go. The kids are doing brilliant. Yeah, a few more lumps, but actually, to be honest, if it's that hot, you might be able to stir it through. Yeah, Happy Easter. Easter. Enjoy. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Josh D. Yeah, that is... Hopefully, we can get out and about. He's saying it's a bit depressing this Easter. Yeah, it is a little bit. Hopefully, we can get out and about soon, but hey-ho. Cooking is keeping us alive, right? Yeah. My favourite um, part is about when you use chocolate and when you then you get to lick the spoon. Is it? Yeah. That was always my favourite thing. I want to say a phrase there that I learned. Can I say it? I've got to think in my head. Think before you say it. No, there's kids watching. And there's kids here. There's kids. There's, yeah, but these are sort of kids. <laughs> the amount of stuff we say in between them. What, oh, what did you say last night, Mrs B? What did you say? No, this morning. What was it? It was a fly in the kitchen. What was it she said? <laughs> what was the word? Scram. 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 I was like, when did you turn into a cowgirl? Scram, you varmint! She's like talking to a fly. She didn't say it like that. She said, scram. I was like, that's my wife. Look at it, Too many yeah. kids' TV shows. Oh, look at that chocolate. It's quite melted. All nice and melted together, smooth like a lake. So leave that to cool. Chocolate. What we want to do is get ourselves another mixing bowl. Okay. Another. <laughs> my command. Uh, I love how these live streams. We started with the first one, really prepared. Oh, yeah. Just like have everything out. In fact, you weren't even here then. I had it all laid out nice and easy. And now we're just kind of winging it because it's, you know, it's what it is. You were like, there's four minutes to go. <laughs> now, a minute ago, like two minutes ago, I was literally um, wrapping a big pallet in my garage for an extractor fan that was sending back. That is, that is my life. I was thinking, oh my God, I was thinking, two minutes to go, two yes. minutes to go. Big one Chloe is like, she's the director. Is that? That is fine. What I want you to do is get some cream cheese, also known as soft cheese. I think this will be known as soft cheese. I'm sure there's... Why is it called cream cheese and soft cheese? I don't know. Enjoy happy morning. Easter. Enjoy. Thank you, Josh. Thank you for your super chat. Um, happy, I hope you have a happy Easter as well, Josh. It's all about the Easter egg, isn't it? Like, I like a Snickers Easter egg. That would be my dream Easter egg. 
Have I got one of those, Mrs. Green? Since today. My favourite chocolate, chocolate bar changes every day. No, yours is, um... What is mine? Are you um, going to tell me what mine is? Terry's chocolate orange. Is it? You, no, there's a Terry's mm. chocolate, um, orange. There's a Terry's chocolate orange Easter egg. There's a Terry's chocolate orange Easter egg? How yeah. much do you think? Is it shaped like an orange? Uh, no. Uh, it's shaped like an Easter egg. Mm. Shaped like an Easter egg. Brilliant. There we go. So the cream cheese, you need to get that whole tub in there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, Literally I? scrape the whole tub in. Oh, but soft cheese, cream cheese, when it's like this, you can see it's a little bit rigid. A little bit stiff and boring and bleh. Why do you put cream cheese in? Well, this is just a little bit of a hack because it blends in with the chocolate. Harry's a bit disturbed when I said that truffles contain cream cheese. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. You can sometimes make them with a ganache as well using cream, but this is kind of like a speed oh, up version of it. Do you remember when they did the chocolate version? The chocolate version? The cream cheese. Oh, yes. You that. Talk about that, Mrs B. Pardon? Talk about that. <laughs> Talk about that. No, you've been watching too many American shows. I have, sorry. You scram. They did um, this, this particular brand, who actually got in touch through a brand deal uh, about six months ago. They did, um, I didn't want to do it. Um, they did a Cadbury's one, yeah. So it's, um, it's called Rilladelphia, and they actually, this is the light version. You can use a full fat light, all that sort of stuff. They still do a flavoured one with garlic and herbs and chives in it, whereas they do one that had Cadbury's chocolate in it. And it was literally, you would buy it and go, well, I'll try some of that. And I think, I think I scoffed it all on one night. Morning from Florida, the girls are getting so grown up. Aren't they? Yes. <laughs> You're getting almost as tall as your mummy. I know, I'm like... That's crazy. I need to make sure I'm not slouching. When I go on my roller skates, I'm like up to here. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, I'm so tall. tall. We're doing that now, are we? We're right. playing that game. I'm on my tiptoes. Are you? Cream cheese, soft cheese, whatever you're using. Mix it together until it's nice and smooth. Another super chat from Rhiannon, Sky, Barry and Fam. I may be slightly... Inebriated? In, in, I can't read. I can't read that. Um, Inebriated. But I hope you guys have an awesome Easter. I hope you do too, Rhiannon. Thank you very much. Um, we hope you all have an amazing Easter. Whether you're cooking, eating chocolate, binge watching shows on Netflix, getting out if you've got a garden, having a little bit of a sunbathe. Yeah, make the most of the nice weather. Yeah, coming there. up with random phrases like scram. Scram! Scram! Remember, we're here this time tomorrow. Um, we're probably going to have a break, um, for at least for two days, for the live streams. I'm doing, uh, if you're a patron, I sent out a message last night, over the weekend, I'm randomly going to be phoning some of you. On your WhatsApps and your Skypes, you've been messaging me that, I'm just going to ring you for a chat for five minutes. Yeah. You want to do that, do you? We'll see. Um, but it's something I'm going to do from time to time as well. And the live streams will become more regular once we come up to a normal schedule. The next step. The next step. Is that nice and smooth? Let me see it. Is it more like a yogurt now? Yeah. Yes. Now, that is the perfect bed for the icing sugar. The icing sugar, which of course can go everywhere. 340 grams of that. Uh, please sieve it. Please. You put it over your face. Where is the sieve? It looks like a fencing mask. This is the bumblebee. Yeah. <laughs> it got like a sword. There you go. Um. Don't put it against... Yes, yeah, she, she, it looked like it was against her face for hygiene. Just... Quite close. Okay, it's like a new posh face mask, isn't it? <laughs> um, so yeah, remember you can add any flavour you want. Live chat, let's have a look at this. How big is the new house? Um, quite big. About the size of a spaceship. It's not a mansion. It's actually smaller than our old house, but we like it. Uh, bees buzz off from Celeste. Flies scram. Scram! See? I'm going to get a t-shirt with that on. Scram. Binge watching Mr Lewis. Thank you. Oh, there's a new video. Obviously, these live streams every day, um, not everyone's getting notified of them. There is a new video at four o'clock, uh, Kitchen Hacks 16 with Mrs. B. I can't remember. You can't remember that one. We already did, we already, uh, we did that quite a while ago. But we've still got loads of videos still to put out, which is great. But we're trying to tease them a little bit. Uh, that lens still affects the audio. Oh, does it? Oh, sorry. But I don't want to take it off. It just makes it so much wider if I do that. I've ordered a different one, if that helps. But if I take it off, oh, look how clear that is. Oh, we'll, we'll stick with this now for a bit. I've ordered another one. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when you take the lens off. Hi. Right, what's going on? I'm just Yeah, make sure you get a really good icing sugar cloud. Actually, if I hold it really far away, like that, it's exactly the same as having a lens anyway. Uh, that does sound better. Sorry. I thought if I start with the lens on, You'll be like, oh, that's how it sounds normally. Look. When is Willet's slush puppy coming? When I finish editing it. <laughs> I edited it 
half edited it, and then I think I uh, got busy sort of ordering wood for out there. Oh, actually, here's a little update on the extension. So this is the insulation that's going in the roof. Can you see? That's 100 mil insulation at the top there. Oh, it's blowing out because of the sun. sun. But um, yeah, we've just put 50 mil on, which is you know, 150 mil of insulation. It's going to be hot. Mix, in the mix, mix it all together. And you'll see at first, it's going to be like a cloud that doesn't want to really do much. And but eventually, look at that, there you go. That, ladies and gents, is exactly what will happen. <laughs> um, you have to keep mixing it. Uh, keep mixing it so the icing sugar blends in with, with the cream cheese. Meanwhile, the recipe is happening somewhere else. Yeah, it really is. Literally, I'm, I'm over here, keeping out of the way. Uh, let's spin this round. Woo. Hello. That's okay, that's okay. Just make sure, so you've got nice, smooth, melted chocolate look at this this is what you want and there's nothing stopping you getting your flavoring in there now look at that one-handed opening it is going to taste like a terry's chocolate orange so you can i think the ingredients list i gave was vanilla extract this is orange yeah should we add this in now do you want to do it Claire? i'll tell you when to stop i like it flavorful look at that mix that in so we've got mix in here we've got mix in there does that smell like a chocolate orange now? Why do we have a washing machine in your kitchen? Well, in England, actually, I've got a lot of comments on that. Yeah, like this isn't how we're going to have um, our final kitchen. This is going to be a different room. The real kitchen is going to be out there. Um, there's a wall here, roughly. You see that second line? There's going to be a wall going there, which will be the back where the kitchen's going to be. And in there will be where a utility room. So where you see the washing machine in that. But actually in the UK, like in our first house, having a washing machine in your kitchen is not that rare. I don't know if it's because it's like the house sizes in the UK compared to other places. Are you doing the extension yourself? Not entirely. There's some serious pros and all that helping doing most of it. I'm just doing a lot of the laboring. Like for example, uh, yesterday, you can't see it out there. <laughs> you can't see, it's like a ghost. Um, I shifted about 50 sheets of plasterboard, one at a time, which is extremely happy. But I managed it, and it's a workout. Uh, Pugs update from Gracie Girl. Thank you for your super chat, Gracie Girl. Pugs update, well, here they are, as always, down here. I'm gonna get right down here with them. Look, this is what the pugs see. Hello, hello, Amy. Hello, brilliant. Thanks, mate. Boston, what are you doing, mate? Hello, mate, hello. Would you consider doing a giant food live in parts? Yes, I would. I'm actually, um, it would, it would take ages. Uh, maybe one that could take quick. I'm speaking to James on Friday, so well, maybe uh, brainstorm that. I like the, that's we've kind of got like the Amy in Boston of food. Yeah, yeah. Right there. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah? Stop right. So, what we want to do, yes, um, we're going to need a spatula for this, but let's get this over here. So, make sure. Oh, they should have done an amazing job. Make sure this is really, really lump free because every time you get any sort of lumps in it, that will really show in the final mixture. Do, do, do. Okay, right. Mrs. B, are you ready? Ready. Pour the chocolate in, in three to four batches. Happy okay. Easter from River Song to all of you from the Isle of Wight. My, my four month old and I are loving the live streams. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for your super chat, River Song. Look at that, I love the marbling. You add that in. Oh, it's going to get stiffer because it's the chocolate's going to take over. So we'll keep adding some more. You can dump it all in, but if you dump it all in, it will get even, you know what Chloe just said, how it gets stiffened like that. It's going to cool it down, that pace. And it's going to sort of almost look seized, but you must carry on on your mission. Spatula is really good as well because you can scrape the sides of the bowl if you want. See how that, this is B, look at that wipe. Amazing. In other news, I'm wearing shorts. If you're interested, Dad's got his legs out. Embarrassing, Dad? Thank you. Uh, look at that. Okay, hang on. Pour it. Yeah. This is, do you want me to hold it? Do you want it, Mrs. B? I'm just this is teamwork. I'm making the chocolate off of it. That is the best bit, mate. Chocolate going in. Josh D is smashing out these super chats. Thank you. Hi, Josh. Look at this. Straight in there. Oh, hand cam. Or knuckle cam. <laughs> That's all good. Right. Mix that in. Yeah, that is quite... It's all stiff there. 
That's okay, but oh. look at that. Gl oh, that is amazing. Some of it's like chocolate, but then when you look at it, the cream cheese, cheese and the icing sugar looks like a chocolate. Um, chocolate. Um, I don't know how, um, chocolate. Um, chocolate something. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Rebecca Jennings. Rebecca Jennings, thank you for your icing. super chat. Ah, chocolate frosting. She's done a. Uh, Done like a little like keep it up emoji of going like working out. That's 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 the guns, Chloe. Keep okay, working those okay. guns. Uh, you really have to keep going until it's nice and ask. smooth. I think I can. Nice. So if you are joining in, uh, don't forget you can hashtag cook along a Barry. Send us photos of your finished dish. Okay. It does need to set in the fridge for about forty five minutes, but we have been prepared. Yes, we have. We have. Um, are we are we nearly there? Are we happy? Once, you're, once you've got it fully blended in, you can't see any traces of cream cheese. It's all one consistent colour and it's a little thick like this. Oh my gosh. Look at this. That's, yeah, it will be thick. It almost looks like, it'll feel like it's seized. You know when you sort of make chocolate, like white chocolate particularly, peeps? Ever seen that? When you melt white chocolate and you add food colouring in and it's like not the right sort of type oh, yeah. and it kind of affects it and goes, I'm not chocolate anymore. I'm now clay. That's it. Yeah, that's what, how it'll feel like. Rhiannon Sky, that's interesting. I live in Australia, so having a washing machine in the kitchen is kind of strange. Loving the live cook logs though, have fun. Yeah, Where do you guys have your washing machine then? If, it's not there for your choice though. It's not there for your choice, no, but if you... <laughs> mm, where can we put the most noisiest appliance in the house? Mm, I know, in our quiet room. No, it's just a lot of places in the UK, I think, it, I don't know, I've never really thought about that before, but a lot of people in the UK just tend to have a kitchen and then a living room and a, you know, sometimes a, a dining area, but it might just be enough for a table. Like this kitchen here that we moved into, this was how they, the owners had it. And that's fine for them because it was a smaller family. Uh, we're gonna have a slightly different area with sections. So a utility room is a godsend. We had, it took us 10 years to get a utility room, didn't it? Yeah. So remember, if you go back to our very first videos, I remember. you will see the washing machine in there. And actually, that's the kitchen that we adapted and put a utility room on. So if you want a bit of history, yeah. have a barathon. We did. We done? We're we good? We're done. I'm going to put Can I smell it? Let's smell it. <sighs> yes. Okay. Smell it. I tried a little bit off the spatula and it tastes really good. Does it really, you approve? Have you tried some, Phoebes? Are you just doing it off the bowl? Is that good? That tastes no, like chocolate nice. orange? Nice. Try some. Right, so put okay. that in the fridge for about 40, 45 minutes minimum. Um, and it will firm up. Now this is the fun part. Once it's been 45 minutes, you can leave it overnight like we did. It might be a bit more firmed up if you do that. Uh, Edvin Johnson, thank you for your super chat, hello. Uh, Lottie Fist in the bathroom. In the bathroom? In the bathroom? You put your washing machine in the bathroom. It's probably quite good for the plumbing, isn't it? I don't know. That's different, isn't it? on houses. I don't know. Oh. Uh, for the so plumbing, cool, like the, the waste pipes and the water and all that, that's probably really good. But you could be like having a bath while you're washing your pants. Oh, sorry. Eating you're eating it. Having a bath, right? That's a spare chocolate. I thought I found that really fascinating. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Just okay. uh, basically your washing machine can be wherever you want. Uh, just don't put it by your TV. That could be a bit off putting, couldn't it? So we're going to bring over Happy Easter, give me a shout out, please. Hello. Josh, I have. You keep doing these super chats, mate. It's very generous of you. By doing a super chat, the comments stand out much more uh, and it's a little pledge donation thing which helps support the channel, of course. We appreciate that, but you don't have to do that many, Josh, honestly, thank you. I hope this is a shout out. Uh, but we will buy an Easter egg with it. Oh, yes. Look at this. So this is something we made earlier. Now, I didn't actually put orange in that one. I made that last night after my adventurous trip to the uh, supermarket, feeling like a robot. And you can see it really does firm up. That's almost too firm, we left it in overnight. But once you get it into the, the palm of your hand, the warmth from your body will make it quite easy to manipulate. So, let's spin you round, right round baby, and we'll get some normal chat on. Uh, spin you round. Panekos in MasterChef says hi. Hello, MasterChef. Oh my gosh. I'm back live again. Ooh, I'm pressing too many buttons. Hang on. Right, let's press this. Hello, Dusty Boots. Uh, yes, it's uh, it gone rock solid when I when I set it like that. Yeah, it's like it has gone really rock solid. But don't worry. 
Uh, when you, I've got chocolate on my hand, amazing. Once you grab a clump, don't do it just yet. The heat in your hand, as I say, will help to make it move and manip manipulate it and shape it. So you can shape it into a ball, you can shape it into a ball and then roll it slightly flatter to make it into an egg shape, which is what we're gonna try and do, okay? But we have some various toppings here. We have your classic cocoa powder. We have coconut, which we're using tomorrow for our cook along tomorrow. We're making some nests. They're gonna be amazing, aren't they? <laughs> just a little bit and we have some chopped hazelnut so this is what we're going to do if you would like to grab it's also good to sometimes have a little bowl of cold water to one side just to keep the temperature of your hand down we don't have to do that but um it's an option do you want me to do that are you just checking the drawer ah oh, we could do that yeah but you can do you grab a spoon a little teaspoon oh yeah we've got the ice cream scoop that's gonna be massive yeah all right Ice cream scoop are a bit big. Barry, your old house was immaculate. Wait till you see this one. Just, like just trust. Just melon. trust it. Trust the Barry. You could use a melon scoop. It's yeah. You used to make melon balls. Oh yeah, I had that. I don't know. Uh, here's one I made earlier. Yes, I do need a blue Peter badge. I'd love that. Yeah, we haven't got one. I always wanted one as a kid. Jerry Ann Hansen, keep it up. Thank you for your super chat. Nikolai, since there's no... I left it in the fridge for a very long time, sorry. Once you manipulate it, if we squeeze it together, it'll break down. Honestly, it'll be fine. Uh, since there's no Eurovision 2020, Barry, 12 points. Iron Butterfly, did I enjoy Tiger King? Yes. I really, really like Tiger King. I've been watching that way too much. Um, way too many opinions on it as well, actually. Um, and I heard a rumour that they're putting a second, oh no, another bonus episode up possibly next week. And they were filming it this week, so I'm, I really like it. Yeah. Don't really watch much TV. There you go. Yeah, rub that together with your hands, mate. Roll it, roll it, roll it. And you can see, as you do that, the heat in your hand is starting to smooth it out, like so, yeah. So don't get scared by that initial top layer. That's from just where it's been a bit hard. But you kind of want it like that so you can manipulate it, right? Like the family are all doing, like playing chocolate table tennis. Look at that, Mrs. B, how did you do that? I just rolled it into a ball and then squished the top. Perfect. No. Right, yeah, you can put that on the board and we'll move you. That looks like a dinosaur egg. Yeah, that looks amazing. I think you're done. Watching with my 10 month old daughter who's asleep. Craving these now, we'll go to shops tomorrow. Is it possible to do them dairy free? Oh, I don't know, I guess there's some. You get like dairy free cream cheese or? If there's a dairy free, yeah, milk substitute like that. I'll have a look into that for you actually. But if you can get a dairy free, version of soft cheese. I don't know, that might be tricky. I know you do get those special aisles and things like that. <laughs> I've just seen the size of the Oh my gosh, look at that. that. That's a good one. <laughs> wow. That's a really good egg. Um, but you can see the difference of that sort of smoothness as you roll it. These were slightly more ruffled, but it doesn't really matter about the texture too much. And of course, you could make these and they'd make an amazing gift for Easter for someone, wouldn't they? Yeah, get a nice little gift box. Yeah. Look at this. You enjoying this? It was nice. Yeah. So if any of you are doing this uh, at home, you want to hashtag cook along a Barry, send me a picture on social media, I'll share it later. It's always cool to see you guys. It's very, very surreal. Even the deviled eggs yesterday. That was so fun. Well, you enjoyed the deviled eggs. Now, what happened to Steve? Well, actually, Mummy ate it. Mummy ate Steve? She ate all of them. Uh, uh, well, I don't know. No, because just before we came on, we had lunch just to get the energy levels nice and high. And I had a baguette with mashed deviled eggs in it and um, we had I think we ate, we, were, we all ate a bit of all these characters it was fun and they tasted good so those of you that made the deviled eggs I didn't think many of you would thank you thank you very much what is that you're making a suitcase a backpack yeah you got uh, your hands will get like quite warm which is why if you keep them cool a little bowl of water to one side but it's just your body heat and we've got enough there really yeah we're making eggs well we can just keep doing this dig into it would a pineapple, coconut, lime infused vodka work? Yeah. Big Daddy. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not going to tell you to do that. I'm not going to tell you. But, you know, if you've got, not got kids and you're making these, you, you feel that with vodka, all right? You do that for me. You've got to get through this quarantine. Uh, yes, it's 100%. But not too much, obviously, because it will overpower it. I know, I'll put the whole glass in. Just a little bit, like Bailey's, it's so nice in here. Rum, 
And it would make a lovely present that you could box and gift to someone for Easter. But obviously you can't. I'm just, <laughs> I'm not going to show you. I'm literally doing a calendar pose on our table. That's fine. People can guess. Let's have a little bit of pug cam as well. Boston again. Come here, boy. Come here. 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 You haven't really said hello during these streams, have you? He just loves food. Don't you? You just love food. He's just watching the truffles. Amy's just waiting for a crumb. Anything. She's been getting very hot because the weather's very hot here in the UK. He doesn't mind so much. Oh, look at these. That's a mitt. Look at how like messy your hands get. It's beautiful. So do, we did wash our hands before we come on, but do keep them clean. If you're going to make so many like this in one go, you, the heat of your hand, your body, and the room, of course, once it's out of the fridge. So keep it in the fridge from time to time if you want to do it in batches. You can also freeze it. Oh, look at that. What you can do. Do you want to wash your hands, guys? Do you want to just be a chocolate monster? You can give me a high five. You're licking your face. Brilliant. And you can high five daddy's face if you want. You want to do that? Go on then. Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, let's go to live chat. Love your videos, Barry. Thank you, Fuzzy Duckling. One, two, three. Scoop then quick roll, exactly. And then get it back in the fridge. Keep them chilled. Uh, if you're in the UK, don't forget the Red Dwarf special on Dave at nine tonight. All oh, right. Are they really shooting Red Dwarf? I see there's an advert on the telly. That's for the AA. Is it? Breakdown. Other breakdown services are available. We keep our washer in a bedroom. Okay. All right. <laughs> Is that not noisy when you're trying to go to bed? Your washing machine's going. I'm pretty certain they wouldn't have put on when they're going trying to go to bed. Uh, any chance for a breakfast cook along? Ooh. Breakfast? Uh, is that a yes, Mrs. B? Probably not. I'm not very good. <laughs> Maybe. I, I might do one myself this weekend. You we'll and see. Chloe would be fine. Yeah, we'll we'd be all right. Maybe wouldn't. There's some people in here that are morning people and others that are like, they, they need their coffee. This chocolate is tonight. Is it? Have you washed your hands properly? No. No? Roll well, them in topping while still warm. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, 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 well, that's what we're doing now, yeah. We're still a little bit clammy. Breakfast cook along. I'd like to do an evening cook along where a lot, because I'm obviously doing these at awkward times for certain people. It'd be nice to kind of stagger them out for uh, some of the American folk that are waking up. Uh, can you do hacks or gadget live stream? Maybe. Maybe. We do, enjoy, we have actually really enjoyed doing these live streams. They've been awesome. Why do you say bye ya when you say seal from Evan? Now, Evan, I don't know how old you are, mate. And there was a song called Kiss from a Rose by a guy called Seal. And I she said Seal and I wanted to sing it. Even my plumber, Mike, if, and then he won't be watching, he'll be working, but he, whenever he says Seal to me now, I started doing it. He's like, all right, yeah, basically we need a Seal there. And I started, bye yeah, and he does it now. It's amazing. So there was a song by, uh, from Batman Forever or Batman Returns or one of the Batman films. And that was the main song. And the very first line is bye ya ya ya. So that's why whenever I say Seal, I just do the intro to that song. And hopefully everyone in the world will start doing it. There we go. Oh, rum coked raisins would be good in those. They would. Rum, rum soaked. So that's what it said, coked. Uh, please try to recreate a full McDonald's breakfast. Oof. Nice. Okay. Are we rolling them? Sorry. Let's just do see. Oh, look at that. Rolling. We're rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling down a river. Okay. I love how I started doing like Limp, uh, limp Biscuit and they're doing the rolling down a river. Much more nicer song. Hang on. Look at that. Oh, the toppings gone from over here to over here. I think someone's taking over, these kids. How old are the pugs? I, someone asked me that the other day. I think I got it wrong. Boston's five. Amy's six. Yeah. Yeah? Batman Forever. Good song, that. Yes. And Evan says makes sense. Now, Evan, every time someone says seal, you've got to go. Bye. Come on. you got to do it. You do it. Bye. 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 Amazing. The world should be full of more puns. So we've got uh, one with nuts. We've got coconut. Oh, that one's got a little bit of nut coconut missing. It's sort of half. This one. It's like a moon. This one? Yeah, they're quite hard. I think. Yeah, I said about doing it well. You should as, have done as it as soon as you roll them, put them in topping. Ah, sorry. Did you did a bit of cocoa powder? Yeah. You did a bit of everything. Brilliant. So we can see that you've kind of. Oh, look, you've done a face. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Um. 
I'm making mine with Cadbury's and Milky Bar tomorrow. Oh my oh. gosh. A request for giant Jaffa cakes. We did that in like, me and James did that like in 2003 or something. That was really funny. Someone tagged me on Twitter saying, oh, have you seen this? There's someone who's made a giant Jaffa cake. And it was like from two months ago, an article. And like me and Jimmy D. James did a video on that. The very first giant food we did was two giant foods in one video. Giant Jaffa cake. Yeah. We want to do that again. We want to revisit it and make it big. So yes, we've, we've already done that. Giant Haribo. Yes. Hello. So are we done? Are we done? Are we done? Yeah. Um, Kit, if you're not going to eat them immediately, which is very silly, which of course we are, um, you would put them in the fridge just to keep them cool, but do roll them, like I say, once they're warm. That one, I'm going to try. You're going to try one? Hello, Barry and the girls. Thank you for your super chat. Super chat. Super chat, Leo. Hope you're well, Leo. Right, you go, you go. Oh, hang on, I have to spin the camera on. Am I allowed one? Can I have one with nuts on it, please? Oh. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god. Oh, that's amazing. That's like a Ferrero Rocher. Mm. You are spoiling us. Wow. That's naughty. Stomp him. Stomp him. Mm. We did it. Wow. We did it? We did it. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Mm. This is so good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Everybody's happy. I, um, I've got a nut stuck there. <coughs> there we go. All, right. All good. We're, we're clear. Wow. We're clear. I think so. The actual one with the nuts on, if you get some bashed up oh. wafer, roll that around and then roll it in nuts or redunk it and merge some more. You are going to make yourself the world's cheapest, easiest, quickest hack on a Ferrero Rocher. The coconut. Who had a coconut? Me. No. Oh. No. No. no, I had nuts. We had nuts. No, you had nice. nuts, but... Was the coconut one a bit like a bounty or a mounds bar? No. Not really. It just melts in your mouth, though, doesn't it? It's just more chocolate. So what, does, what do you good. guys have? The nut one. No, nut one. You had the nuts as well? Mm. Oh, did you like them? Yeah, I mean, I, I can tell because we kind of... The cocoa powder is a little bit like more classic truffle, isn't it? It's a bit like you're going to eat it. A bit like the cinnamon challenge. You're going to be like... Bleh. So it's up to you. How, yeah, how are we thinking? Okay, well, as you can see, this is the, the batch that we got from that first amount. So you will probably be able to make about... How many do you think? How many did we make there? Like... Eight? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We made, we made eight. 12. We made 12. We made 12. And we probably yes. use. No. How much? 30? About 30. You're probably going to get 30 to 40 truffles at least. How much for 60? I'm just going to have another one. You just want to eat. You just want to eat. Brilliant. Cocoa powder one. Cocoa powder one. This might get all over your face. It's just really weird. <laughs> your lips. I'm not going to go. <laughs> you want like chocolate lips. I know. It tastes really weird. Yeah, you don't want to put too much on. Oh my oh. gosh, you both got like chocolate lipstick. Don't I do that, Phoebe. Don't do it. I'm I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a coconut one, Phoebe, you and I. Mm. I want to see if this tastes like a bounty, which is like a mounds bar. Mounds in the USA. Mm. Oh, he's got mm. oh, I got some nuts on. So good. I'm gonna just add some oh my nuts gosh. Nice. You can't taste the cream cheese. You can taste the icing sugar, <laughs> that sweetness, and it's, it's just naughty. <laughs> 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 Lush. Right. I think we're done. Let's just do a few more little live chats. Then we'll do our little pose because people seem to like that. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't hug me. <laughs> you want to screenshot that? Um, let's do some little uh, Q&As before we say goodbye. Your girls are adorable. Thank you, Kim B. That's me. I'm adorable. Oh, it's your mum. Becky, it's Nanny. your mum. Where? Nanny. Well, she's looking forward to my box on the doorstep. Ooh. Uh, what box is that? We better make a box. Is that a hint? <laughs> is that a say, go now. What are you oh, oh, the truffles. Oh, I thought yeah. we were supposed to be dropping something else off. No, um, a box of truffles she wants. Uh, like. Hi, happy Easter from South Africa. Wow. South Africa, I didn't know we traveled that far. Your girls are adorable. Yeah, Thank you very much. We Love your videos. Uh, Luna says hi from Nebraska. I love how modest and humble they are. Well, I always thought modest was like showing off. It's not, is it? No, it's like, I'm showing off. With my hand on the head. We are, I guess, no. I don't know, humble. We're just kind of like, we keep it real. There's no... It's sometimes these live streams are funnier than they are. It's just, we just keep it real. And just hope you guys are all okay. Trying to distract you from the craziness of what's going on. Hi from Swansea. 
My dad was born in Swansea. That's not bad. Which makes me half Welsh. Next time you get the pugs in for screenshot. Next time. In fact, let's do it now. Let's do another one. Come on, I'll get Boston. Okay. I don't want to be malted. All right, ready? This is going to be hard because they never look. Ready? All right, we all in? Boston. Look, Boston. <laughs> look. Look at the camera. Boston. Boston, look. No. No. <laughs> He's just like. Okay, ready? Yeah. Food. Um, howdy from Canada. Ooh. Chloe is always set at 10. You are, aren't you? Well, she sometimes does go to 11. What does what? that mean? As in, like, you're, you're always excitable. Um, yeah, I'm. You can so turn her up to 11, but you just don't want to see Chloe in that area. You should have seen her. But she's always happy, and that's a good way to be in life, folks. Hi from Cornwall. What's that, Ben? I said she was at 11 before we came live. Yes. Just had a lolly. In the mornings, Mrs. B and Phoebe need their coffee. Chloe's a lot like me. And then suddenly, sometimes during the day, it will change. Do you prefer sausages, dogs, or pugs? Ooh, it rang me again. I need to go. I think you might. It might be urgent. 11 is a... This, this person is ringing me. I really, really have to go. Um, sorry, bye. Uh, <laughs> sorry, bye. Hope you enjoyed the truffles and you join in. Uh, Mimi Wheelers. Hello, Baron family. I love you and your family. And you're so funny after you... So funny, after you do the shows, I love you and your family. Are you so funny after you do the shows? Oh, um, you're, cra you're crazy. She goes bonkers. You're crazy. I actually get quite serious. I'm actually quite a shy person. Uh, but I I'll, I'll, literally after this is done, I'm going to go outside and help cut up some insulation and put some joists into our roof. Because that's exciting. Um, Mrs. B is literally the same all the time, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. She's just... Level. I think there's a guy outside. There's Brilliant. A guy I've got to go. I've got to go. So we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.